It's not. What, what makes it weird is it's not weird at all. It's, this is literally home. It's nothing like our state, but it's definitely like where we come from. Like the whole state of Oklahoma is like where we come, what part of Pennsylvania we come from. And it's, it's trippy. It's pretty cool. So, we're different, but like our mindset is quite similar to the mindsets around here. We're, we're a lot more open and it's, it's weird. We're weird. We don't necessarily represent where we come from. We become a little more uh, on the sleeve type. Now, we got a good ambiance here. You know, I, like a mirror, it all looks good, and the lighting's okay. And it's a quiet afternoon. Where are you guys at? On an afternoon like this. The best, this, this might look, the, this probably looks I gotta stop doing them on I gotta start doing them on purpose. I'm not feeling it though, man. I'll tell you, being on these waves with my wife, it's a great time. It's a lot of fun. It is. The game's over. Things show up. And it ain't over. Hey, Jody. Hey. I caught you following one of those accounts that is made to make fun. And that's fine. But, okay, their stuff is pretty funny. Here's where I'm at. If you're following an account that makes fun of me, do me a favor and include me in on it. I'm not going to block you for it, but if you want, like, they got good content, I want to see it because it can be funny wherever I can get it. Life has become, life isn't dry, but it's become serious. It's like, because as we get responsibilities, we have to grow up, and we really don't want to, but we have to. So... We will get laughs where we can get them. And seeing who you were following, it's pretty funny. <sighs> where we can get it. As I do this more, it gets really weird because, like, not famous, but I'm not, not. So, I could go out, and there's like a 25% chance that I end up, that someone sees me and knows me. And it's really weird, because if they don't, and I hear them say something I think would mean they know me, and I'm like, do they know me? And then there's that chance that they don't, right? 
and then it gets weird. And so I just sit here and I'm like, I like passive aggressively communicate the possibility and like litmus test my environment. I don't. I really shouldn't. That's what I really should do is like not, but. That's my reality. My reality is that I, uh, of course I do. I don't, I don't want to get greedy, but I do want to make sure that my family has what they need. And you know, we as human beings, we could kind of be like animalistic, and if a habit works and it, and it gets us what we want, we try more. But there are so many variables that come into that, so. I pretty much try to run in a direction. If I don't bang my head on a brick wall, then I'm going in a, It's not the right direction, but it's not the wrong direction yet. But to me, a wrong direction is I hit a brick wall. If I don't, it's not really a good or bad direction. As long as it gets us further. And sometimes it's okay to go backwards. It's not always a bad thing. Backward, backwards isn't always retreating. It's not. Sometimes, sometimes you got people you care about that ended up behind you, and if uh, doing the right thing isn't enough for you, you might go far enough that you get lonely. I'd say, oh, I'm going to go back for them. For me, for some people, it's, I care a lot about them, and for other people, I'm like, well, I love you, and I care about you. I didn't want to come back for you, but I'm coming back for these people, and I'm kind of lonely, so we're going to go ahead and... We're gonna fit everybody in the van. We're gonna we're gonna hazelton this and we're gonna make it work. Did I say that? I did say that. Did you hear that? Never mind. You guys heard it. I really hope I get a, I get some sort of comment on that. Any sort of any sort of something from the abyss. But we're gonna we're gonna fit you in the van. We're gonna make it work. We can we can fit six people in the three seats that didn't used to have seat belts. Like where I where I come from, like. It's like a time machine, I guess it must be, because, and people, some people call that redneck, I'm like, it ain't redneck, like, some of us fight hard enough to last, and my family fought pretty hard to last, so now I'm sitting here, and I, I have the privilege of, like, knowing parts of the environment that existed before there were seatbelts, and I may be rambling at this point, but I have a feeling there's some people watching that, you know, some of you you get it so it's good to have a little nostalgia and reminisce and I might not have been a part of that time but I was around let that maybe blow your mind a little bit I'm only in my 20s but I was raised and sometimes be in a vehicle that did not have seatbelts and it's not it's not like we took ooh we're so bad I took out this nope they, it was it was built without seatbelts didn't have seatbelts so uh, you can't really think about it and then as I got older, and, you know, I mean, our, our, our school bus didn't have seatbelts. And now, like, God help you if you say it. So, and they call that advancement, and I'm like, uh, that's kind of a lateral move. It's not really advancing. It's growing out, not up. And that's fine. This is where I lose most people. I apologize. I'm going to step back and stop being a jerk on purpose. But that's, that's also supposed to be humor. It's also supposed to be funny. I've also learned that uh, most of society is softened, and there's a lot of jokes I can't really make anymore, and it stinks. It really stinks, because I never had the intention of hurting feelings, and so it's supposed to be funny, but what I, w what I wish, and maybe I could bestow on a couple of you, is I am younger, but it's about culture. It's not about age, it's about culture. The culture I come from is where it's lighthearted, and you're able to let go. And you live a life where you don't hold a lot of weight because you got to keep going. And then that gives you a better mood. And with that better mood, you can joke around about things that maybe a little are a little heavier. And the ability to joke around about that, it helps you into the next day. And that can get complicated, but only if we make it complicated. You know, and getting lost in those complications, how, that's how we end up with seatbelts. And then seatbelts turned into vaccines. And, Vaccines turn into censorship, and I can tell you, there's a lot of us that don't have time for that. So, uh, we make time for it in respect to the other half of society, but we mostly stick to our own and do do what we can do. And um, but believe it or not, we are the half that doesn't judge. We're not. We we don't judge. Uh, 
they simply make media about us and say that we, we're the ones that judge when they're trying to categorize everybody. We, we're the ones that say, well, can you do it? Okay, cool, let's get along. So, and if you can't do it, we say, all right, that's fine, sit on the bench. You're still part of the team. These other people, they say LGBTQ, but uh, where's the MF? Where's the male and female? It's very inclusive, and they say they are exclusive. It's very exclusive, and they claim for it to be inclusive, and it's not. It doesn't involve male and female. We're not allowed. So we, we say, us Americans, I'm not talking Republican. I'm talking American. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't are you liberal or are you Republican? I'm, I'm a redneck, but I'm an American, and I don't identify my po uh, political party with who I am. My identity is American, and I say, if you get the work done, we're family. Because that's what we do in America. We get the work done. And all this fighting and fussing, it's all for show, you know? And it's our way of letting out the feelings over a lot that's been done to us that I don't think we've really healed about yet, you know? So when they get us to fight with each other, it takes longer to solve the problem, you know? And... We don't really have any problems near as much as we think we do. And when you're willing to take off the seatbelt, then park the car if you have to, depending on where you're at. You realize that life's a lot more simple than we want to believe it is. We usually want to believe it when we want a better sense of importance without putting the work in. It takes a lot of work to feel good when, we're, when you do the work yourself. And it ain't pride. There's no pride in doing it yourself. That's kind of the point. So, I guess my lesson for the day is that if you feel proud of doing it yourself, you're not doing it yourself. Humility is found in getting the work done. And it helps you understand what family means. And family means solidarity. It means stability. And it doesn't mean selling out. So, sell out less, work more. And if your life lasts less long, don't always look at what you get out of it. Look at your family, look at your kids, look at your friends. What are you giving, not what are you getting? And you're going to know what you're worth. Have a good day.